going on in the entire agency. He's saying that when they're doing these criminal actions, it's very similar to the types of things that J. Edgar Hoover was pulling on officials that we now know uh, for many, many decades, controlling them, blackmailing them. Hoover had nothing like the NSA's capabilities. It would be very frightening to think what he would have done, and yet human nature is human nature. There's nothing that unique about J. Edgar Hoover. To think that there aren't many J. Edgar Hoovers within the NSA, whenever you give the government that kind of capability, they will use it. And he points that out here in his article. He says uh, the information that they got about the fact that they, even at the time of the church hearings, the NSA was wiretapping Frank Church and other senators. And they got those documents by accident. And he says when they're covering that stuff up, they are not going to put it on PowerPoint displays, which is the kind of stuff that Snowden has got. So even though Snowden has top secret clearance, there's another level above that, and we should be very concerned about that. We'll be right back. We're going to talk about the overflowing of immigration, what it means for the breakdown of our society. Stay tuned. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives, a serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2. Available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, Master Herbologist and Chief Formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality, from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality, delivers 10 key herbs 
herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of super female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking super female vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today, but Alex is going to be joining us in the second hour. We're going to be talking about the massive immigration that's being allowed, actually encouraged by our government. What does it mean for our society? Is it part of a larger plan? Alex is going to break that down for you in the second hour. In the last segment, we were talking about a new revelation from an NSA whistleblower. Actually, he's been talking about various aspects of this for quite some time. Russell Tice, someone... Uh, who was actually one of the first of the NSA whistleblowers. Many people don't realize that before Ed Snowden, there were, uh, I believe there was five, maybe six NSA whistleblowers. There were four that were together. Tice was the very first one. Uh, they were talking about the fact that the American government was, for the first time after 9-11, spying on Americans and dragnet methods. People that were not suspected of any crime and not going before a FISA judge as they were required to do. And of course, FISA was something that uh, was a provision that came after the church committee hearings to try to rein in the intelligence community to keep them from doing this very thing. And yet the FISA quote unquote court has become this secretive court with one judge, one lawyer from the administration who wants that judge to do something, Nobody in an adversarial relationship, nobody, no judge on the other side saying, that's not a good idea. Nobody advocating for the Bill of Rights or the Constitution or the American people. There is no adversarial hearing. It is a closed door, star chamber type of hearing. And when they create these, they say, precedent setting decisions, they pretend as if they are modifying the Constitution. And doing so with a court decision that the American public is never allowed to see. So it's, it's an amazing world. But I tell you what, Stephen Fry had a, a video that was up on The Guardian. And uh, I don't know if you guys can get a little bit of this queued up here. But he said there is something squalid and rancid about being spied on. He did that as part of the one-year anniversary of the Snowden documents coming out. But as Russell Tice was pointing out, Snowden never had access to the juiciest documents. In other words, there were things that they didn't put on PowerPoint uh, displays. And there's some pretty bad stuff that we've seen on PowerPoint displays. But some of the worst stuff, some of the stuff that is similar to what we know Jagger Hoover was doing in terms of blackmailing senators, blackmailing Supreme Court justices, uh, destroying military personnel or generals, as we've seen with Petraeus. And I don't know what was going on with Petraeus. Of course, he has now subsequently allied himself with Hillary Clinton. Uh, and uh, perhaps uh, it had something to do with the uh, Benghazi affair or is why they took him out. Nevertheless, the fact that they're able to do this should concern all of us. It should concern all of us that they're looking at our own stuff. And that's what Stephen Fry was talking about. He said there's something squalid and rancid about being spied on. Can you uh, play that there's clip? There's something squalid and rancid about being spied on. Nobody likes it. The idea of having your letters read by somebody, your telegrams, your faxes, your postcards intercepted, was always considered one of the meanest, most beastly things a human being could do. And for a government to do without good cause. Using the fear of terrorism that we all have, the fear of the unknown that we all share, the fear of enemies who hate us, is a duplicitous and a deeply wrong means of excusing something as base as spying on the citizens of your own country. GCHQ, the NSA in America, 
cooperate together through PRISM and other systems to listen in on, to read and intercept everything we send. Yes. It's enough that corporations... It is amazing. It truly is amazing, and I uh, appreciate him speaking out on that. Of course, that's Stephen Fry. He's a writer, he's a comedian, he was one of the actors in V for Vendetta, if you recognize his voice. Uh, he has it exactly, and it really is not only Orwellian, but it's kind of um, an Alice in Wonderland type of thing. <laughs> so many different aspects to it. Look at this article. Judge orders the NSA to stop destroying evidence for the third time. See, when you give them that kind of power, they're not going to listen to anybody. If they're going to violate the Constitution, don't you think they'll violate a judge's order? Now, this is a judge that has asked the National Security Agency to stop destroying surveillance records that could be used to challenge the legality of its spying programs in court. Now, this is a lawsuit that's being brought by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF. So they're asking the NSA, don't destroy these records. We are going to be using them as part of a trial. So the NSA comes back with this kind of uh, Kafkaesque reply, and they say, well... Uh, we can't do that because um, if, we, if we didn't hold these records, we could have a loss of access to lawfully collected signals intelligence information. Okay? Now think about that. They're saying we, we can't retain these records because we don't want to lose information. <laughs> That's essentially what they're saying. So the EFF said in a statement late Thursday, says, how can the preservation of intercepted communications cause a, quote, loss of access to lawfully collected signals intelligence information? That information will remain accessible even though it is being preserved, right? <laughs> so they're saying we can't preserve it because we could, we could lose it if we preserve it. Not true. As a matter of fact, in the crazy war on drugs here in Texas, and of course, this is where much of the destruction of our constitution into a police state, into a surveillance state began decades ago. We have an article here from, uh, from Forbes.com. Cops in Texas seize millions by policing for profit, and they point out that in a recent decision, a Texas Supreme Court justice compared the act of civil forfeiture to Alice in Wonderland and Kafka. Because what's happening in civil forfeiture is that they're charging inanimate objects with crimes, even though the owners are never charged with anything. They essentially charge the inanimate objects, and of course the inanimate objects have no civil liberties, because of course they're not people. But you have these cases of the U.S. versus Learjet, or the U.S. versus uh, 1999 Camaro, or whatever it is that they're coming after. Uh, and they point out that in just one county... Tarrant County, Texas, the district attorney's office seized three and a half million dollars plus 250 cars, 440 computers in just fiscal year 2013. That's about 10% of their budget they got by stealing property without charging even a person with a crime. In other words, they didn't find anybody guilty of a crime. They didn't even charge anyone with a crime, but they confiscated the property and charged the property with a crime. And we've seen this going on since the early 90s. Now even Forbes is taking notice of this. It used to be something that only obscure libertarian journals talked about. So at least we're making some headway when we've got mainstream articles talking about it. But they also point out that most of this went to salaries. They had $660,000 in cash used and $426,000 in cash to, play, to pay salaries. And, of course, they only gave $53,000 to six nonprofits that would benefit victims or prosecution efforts. So most of this money is going to the police department. And in Tampa, we had a case where some cops went in and totally trashed a guy's truck when he wasn't even there because they asserted that they smelled marijuana or a canine smelled it. So he comes back to his truck. He finds it absolutely, totally broken into and trashed with a note from a cop saying, we thought we smelled something funny, so we went after your truck. <laughs> and now they're saying, 
that's nothing unusual. We, we'll be right this back. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports, or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listener to active participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years, and I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Info War is worldwide. Tell your friends about Info Wars and let them know that Info Wars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documents.